What is up everybody? Welcome back to Alt Knots. Today we are going to have a little chit chat here in the Yarn Dungeon about all of the fun things I found through my adventures of Halloween decor hunting from the past week. If you are out there right now too, please let me know in the comments down below what are some of your favorite things that you've been finding and also where have you been finding them. It is the middle of July, middle of summer ween, so there are definitely stores popping up here and there with little bits of Halloween. I haven't seen anything super major yet. It's, it's coming out there. We're coming up to Halloween full overthrow for every single store. I also have been working on my Halloween decor hunting cardigan. This is something that I've just been taking with me as I'm going from place to place. Just a nice patchwork cardigan. I have one that I did last year, which was a granny square. That one was super fun, but I am feeling the slime greens this year. Quite a few patches were made and I need to get the scissors in order to, yeah, I'm done with this one. This works out perfect because I can start a brand new patch today as we chit chat about the stores that I went to, starting with, I don't even know which one it was, Joanne's. This was a store uh, that I hadn't been to yet. Not Joann's in general, but like this was the actual Joann's shop that I hadn't been to. When you walked through in the back, they had the yarn wall, which I love that they're doing that in some of their stores. They also had a creator or like studio area, big giant tables that you can kind of spread all the way out. And then there were a couple of big plushy chairs that you could sit in and get all cozy. They also had coffee, which was just a good combination in order for me to like sit for hours. This is my new home. Home. Cozy chairs, coffee, and then yarn right there. I mean, I'm staying for days. That's what's happening. This is definitely something that I'm gonna have to look into a little bit more about this Joann's. Like, is this space a place for classes or is it set up for makers just to come, hang out, have coffee, meet other makers, chit chat about projects? Cause that sounds fantastic. But for that day, I was really there just looking for Halloween stuff. So I headed over to the fabric section and they had a lot of fabric that I had already seen with one main exception, they did have a small section of anti-pill fleece fabric. This is the fabric that I look for every single year because I love making blankets out of it. I'll end up getting it two yards per blanket, then I'll crochet a little border around it and done. So super quick and easy type of blankets, but I always stock up this time of year, bunch of different variety. That way I can change it up for the seasons, but still be spooky every single season. The one that I really liked so far had moons on it and a bat. It really seemed like something I could just leave out all year round and it would kind of go with my decor no matter how. I change it up. They also did have some Beetlejuice, which none of them were new. They were all from last year, but they had a lot of them. So I was very excited to see that.
they had some really cool glow in the dark fabric too. It was 100% cotton. Obviously some sort of pajama set would be great since you can go ahead and wear it in the PM and that way you can see it glow in the dark. Next I went to Home Goods and I hadn't had any luck at any of these stores. I'd gone to a couple of them, but this one had a tiny selection. They did have the wine and martini glasses that have the skeleton hand holding it. I saw those last year and I'm really glad they brought those back because those are just really, really cool. I thought about using those to hold some of my yarn scraps, like caking up 50 grams or less and putting them in the glasses and kind of like arranging them, I don't know, around everywhere because my entire house is covered in yarn. So that one might have to go on my list. The last step I made it was at home and they had a couple of new things this week. Some more garland and it was like witchy purple color. So if you're getting ready for Hocus Pocus 2 and you're gonna make wall hangings or maybe a really cool centerpiece, this stuff would be super fun to work with. There was also this stand-up book that had a skull on the outside and the inside was like a grim reaper that lit up. That was super fun and I can see that in literally any room of my house to be honest. There also was this skull that had a crow on it that lit up and it did the same thing as the book where it was different colors and then strobing lights. I think if there was a button that you can control if it was a solid light or a strobe light they would have went immediately into my cart. They did have some tree or ornaments out as well. Nothing individual, but they had those big tubs with like the spheres in it. And one of them was Beetlejuice colors, which is awesome. I'm always looking for Beetlejuice anything, honestly. I did end up getting something this week and it actually wasn't from any of those stores. It was something that was mailed to me, but it arrived this week, so it still counts. The very first mug of the 2022 season to add to my caffeine vessel collection. Surprisingly enough, this is my very first screen mug too. Don't know why it took me this long to get it, but I'm obsessed with it now. This one is pretty much gone, so we're gonna switch it over right this second. I also did end up getting 10 patches done. Let me grab the stack. I have 10 more done on top of, what did I have? Six from last week. I need 57 of them. We're slowly getting there, but I have full confidence that by the end of this decor hunting season, I will have this cardigan made. All right, ghouls, but that is it for today, so thank you for hanging out with me and checking out some more Halloween decor finds. Don't forget to shout out your favorites that you've been finding in the comments. Otherwise, have a fantastically spooky day and I will see you in my next video.